someone who got in her way. She wanted to drive him crazy, but her plan failed. As for how it all ended, we're still not sure why, but she fell off the Brody Canyon Bridge and... Due to the extreme height, and the fact that it took us a while to find her body, her face might... No. Perhaps the scar we mentioned might be more helpful when it comes to identifying her. That's really all we need. Why? 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 If you care about those fingers you're right with, you better start explaining why! Why? Why did you kill my uncle? Adam, your uncle was my friend. I'm a victim just as much as he is. Bullshit. You're no fucking victim. You're an accomplice in his death. An accomplice? Adam! You always wanted to get rid of me, as a kid and as a grown-up. You took them away from me. You stole their love, fishing, chess, the shared afternoons. You took them away from me, and you still weren't satisfied. You wanted the ranch! But I was going to inherit it, wasn't I? You wanted to threaten him to change his will, but never had the balls to. Because you've never had the balls to do anything! Your little friend did the dirty work for you, and it all got out of hand. She killed my uncle, and you killed her for screwing up, out of rage, to tie up any loose ends. Adam, that's insane! I'm done. Did you kill my uncle? Adam, I didn't! I don't care who pulled the trigger. Did you kill my uncle? I know where you're- Did you kill my uncle? No! I had nothing to do with his death. Nothing! You just won't give up, will you? All right. You better tell me what I want to know before I lose it! Three... Your aunt is alive, and I know where she is. What? She's in the ranch bunker. There's no bunker on the ranch. The blueprints are downstairs. I know where the entrance is. How do I know this isn't just a plan for me to let you go? This is not who you are, Adam Franklin. You're a good man, but if you do this... You ask... Ah! There's a bunker. You prove it. Uh, according to the blueprints, it should be here. We should hear the sound of metal. It's right here. There's no doubt about it. Is it her? Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? And now you'll have one too. And you know what else? 
It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? Thank you, Mr. Kerrigan. <laughs> We got the key. I'm on my way. I need to go to the Franklin Ranch. Let's catch up later. Sheriff. Can I stay a little longer with my daughter? Mr. Garrigan. Perhaps... Would you like to meet your granddaughter? Honey Esther, can you hear me? to get you out of there.
Esther, look at me. It's Eddie Miller. It's Eddie. You killed Samuel! When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who's the only pirate to stay and fight here? Stay away from her, you monster! Oh, my dear boy, what did I do to you? It'll heal fast, don't worry. The ambulance is on its way. They'll have to run some tests and... Uh... We had all kinds of things. Food and water. You know Sam. Um, Mrs. Franklin, if you could... You know, when you're feeling a little better. Maybe you could tell us what happened? I told Sam that it was too late to cross the woods. That he should take the car instead. But he insisted on walking to your house. He said he wanted to remind you about your fishing plans. But I know that he just wanted to have a beer with you. I was surprised when he came back so soon. He, he wasn't himself. I said, Sam, what's wrong? What did you see? Hmm. Hmm. 
Let's do this tonight. Same time. You better not be late. <laughs> well played, kitty. I told Sam to call the police right away, but you know how stubborn he was. He said he'd tell you the next day when you went fishing. He didn't think much about it. He said a lot of youngsters did target practice in the woods and that she was probably shooting at squirrels. We didn't sleep well that night. Got up earlier than usual. Just before dawn, while we were having breakfast, we heard a car. We thought that was odd. But that wasn't the case. Sam! Oh my god! She Sam! made me cover him with a blanket. No! And then she dragged me away from him. She locked me up with the baby in the bunker and said she'd be back in a few hours. called a phone down there. I tried to call the police, but I no longer knew what time it was, so I braced myself for her return. How am I going to live without him, Adam? What will I do? Well, you could get ready for dinner. Otherwise, Jenny will be asleep when her grandma gets there. Oh, I forgot about Eddie's apple pie. I hope I didn't burn it. Jenny, sweetheart, tell your daddy to stop talking and come play with him. He's ignoring Grandpa. Huh? If you keep that up, 
You'll finish writing that novel in record time. <laughs> Maybe. Does ten years sound record-breaking to you? What's on your mind? This morning, I finally got a call from my acquaintance at the state adoption agency. It seems like the agency that Robert hired for Veronica's adoption hid relevant information about her biological family. What? They molested her. They broke her. They... I don't even want to think about it. Bastards. Does that explain everything? Why she was a psychopath? Many victims of abuse become abusers themselves. But sometimes, when they find a better family where they feel loved, that somehow compensates for the previous trauma. In Veronica's case, not even Robert's profound love could help her. The causes are multifaceted, personal, social, even biological. We'll never know. I suppose we are all broken in one way or another. We don't all become Veronica, but we're not saints either. I thought you didn't want to interfere with my job. Hey, who's been interfering with mine for the past week? <laughs> When are you leaving? This afternoon. When I'm done with all the paperwork, uh, if you're not busy, I know there's someone waiting for you in L.A. But Cerro Lake is beautiful this time of year, and, uh... Sorry. It was a stupid idea. Nick, I... I'm sorry. No, don't be. It's... It's my fault. Friends? Friends. Damn daughter! 
Can you point where he touched you on the doll? We found you a new daddy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I love you too, sweetie. To the moon and back. You're not a bad girl. Will we still be friends when I'm gone? She's your daughter, Ed. Shut up.